I manipulated my doctor to write more Adderall than I needed so I could snort the necessary excitement into my work. Yes, through my nose. But it was so I could raise my capacity and achieve more at work, so I was fine. The mask I was wearing fooled me most of all. I'm Coach Bruce, and I'm a life coach for ADHD parents. On the outside, I was married to a beautiful woman. I had a set of amazing kids and a career that I swore was my dream. I didn't know I was lying. Below the surface, I numbed and sedated with prescription drugs, alcohol, porn, steroids, and illicit behavior. That's right, steroids, porn, alcohol. I was doing it all. Through the haze, I couldn't see that I was killing myself. Or I just didn't care. Because I just drank to take the edge off every night and almost never got wasted. I was fine. I manipulated my doctor to write more Adderall than I needed so I could snort the necessary excitement into my work. But it was so I could raise my capacity and achieve more at work. I was fine. I watched porn, but I wasn't addicted. I watched just enough so I didn't have to pressure my wife to put out more than she wanted. I was fine. I stuck literal needles in my ass so not to be not to be a show-stopping model, instead to not be disgusted by the piece of shit I saw in the mirror. I was fine. I flirted online and off, but it was okay because I would never do anything like cheat on my wife. Again, I was obviously not fucking fine. But I told everyone I was, and I told them so well that I believed my own bullshit. Achievement unlocked. Till this day, it was hard for me to accept the depth of my past delusion and sedation, but I have to. I now know that the power is in the pain. The ability to launch forward and upward is fueled by the knowledge of what I had become. The chasm that had developed between my behavior and my beliefs swallowed me completely. I did not exist. Until the false life I was leading threatened to take away everything that was real, everything that actually mattered. Kids, wife, home, family. Don't wait to get real with yourself. Are you actually engaged in the life you were leading? Or are you drinking the Kool-Aid that you were making? You may not be banging steroids and snorting Addy like I was, but what what are you doing to show up? Are you numbing yourself with binge watching and gaming? Social media isolation and communication shutdown? If you have picked your poison, accept the consequences. Either get help or get hurt. You choose. Or life will choose for you. Doing nothing is a choice, and it is the absolute worst one. Click the link in the description and take the aimless life assessment and take the first step to taking back control of your life. Close Amazon, turn off Candy Crush, shelve your romance novel just long enough to take this free quiz and get an honest assessment if you are on the path that I was on and get next steps to get help so you can avoid what I went through. You don't have to blow up to glow up. Oh, I came up with that. If not for you, do it for your children. Do it for your spouse. Do it for, I mean, I would suggest do it for you because you deserve more. But you cannot imagine the pain of having a loved one uncover your lies and say, what is this? You do not want that. I promise you, you don't want that life. It doesn't have to come to that either. If you can just have the courage to just take one step in the right direction. All it takes is one step. That's it for today. I will talk to you tomorrow.